So this question is a diagram question. Obviously, I say that because of this graph that's provided here. So really, any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So let's take a look at the graph and then read the question after that. So on the x-axis, I have time worked. On the y-axis, I have total charges. And we can see by the direction of this line here that the more time worked, right, as you go to the right on the x-axis, the more or the higher the total charges go. So the actual question here says the graph represents the total charges in dollars by a contractor for x hours of work. The contractor charges a one-time fee. Okay, so that makes sense, right? Because even here, when there is no time worked at the origin, we still have a total charge of whatever that number represents, right? So here, that represents our one-time fee. So the contractor charges a one-time fee plus an hourly rate, right? So here's where we get our hourly rate from. And what is the best interpretation of the slope of the graph? Well, I kind of drew, let me just erase all this so we can see it again. I kind of drew it um, intuitively there. But you can see here that if we're looking at a per hour rate, if I were to add in, like let's say that's hour one, and hour two, and hour three, I could say, well, how far up am I going in total charges to get to, let me go further down, to get to that first hour? And then how far up do I get to go to that second hour. And I am have this like staircase effect or stair step effect. And that is in fact my slope. So my slope represents the rise over the run of the graph, but that rise over run, right? The Y axis again is the total charges divided by the total hours, right? So the slope represents how much money this contractor is charging per, right, because per means divided by, how much money the contractor is charging per hour. So let's find that. So choice A says the contractor's hourly rate. I completely agree with that, so I like that, but I'll look at the other answers. Choice B, the contractor's one-time fee, that's not true. The contractor's one-time fee is actually going to be the y-intercept for reasons that I already mentioned. Choice C, the total amount that the contractor charges. Well, that's not true either um, because we don't, there's no way to know that by looking at the graph. The slope doesn't tell us how much, how many hours the contractor works, so we don't know how much he, ch he charges, he or she charges in total. And lastly, the maximum amount the contractor charges, again, for the same reasons, C is no good, D is also no good. So choice A is the best answer here.